All right, I think we're on testing. All right, class. Uh, this is going to be your video recorded lesson for today. So pay close attention. I'm going to walk you through this step by step. Um, what we're going to be doing today in particular is talking about the E flat major scale. Okay, so we already did the B flat scale and we've done it in three different ways. In the ways that we did it, we um, looked at it on the staff. Then we looked at it in terms of playing it on like a virtual piano. And then we actually did some production with it where we actually recorded the scale and then put a drum track behind it that we created ourselves. So we're going to do that for the E flat major scale this time. Okay. The well, first thing I want to do is open up my screen. I want to show you the notes of the E flat major scale first. Okay. Now you might want to take notes about this. You might want to write something down and give you a couple seconds to kind of get what you need to get yourself situated, but you need to know the scale degrees or each note that's in this scale. Okay. What you need to know is that this scale contains three flats. Okay. It contains B flat, E flat, and A flat. As you can see, first scale degree is E flat then we have F then we have G A flat B flat C D and E flat okay so that's pretty you know pretty straightforward um, let me do it one more time just so you can see those and hear them E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. Now, this is what it looks like when it's just on the staff. Of course, you got quarter notes worth one beat. And uh, this is basically two measures of the scale going up. Okay, when we said um in class uh, yesterday, we said the scale is ascending. That means it's going up. So that's what you're looking at, okay? So it's good that you know this, all right? So uh, you can pause this for a minute if you want to and get what you need as far as to write the notes down or any method that you need that's going to help you memorize those notes because you're going to be putting them inside of Soundtrap. So if I were you, you know, pause the video, get what you need, and then come on back to us. Okay, so we're going to move on. Remember, we are inside of what we call a sound trap. This is the sound trap, uh, you know, the front page of it, the beginning page of it. Uh, you want to always go to Enter Studio. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. Enter Studio. Once you enter the studio, you're going to be met with a choice to choose between music and podcasts. We're not doing podcasts just yet, but we are going to do music. So when this opens up, we choose music. It's right here. Once you choose music, that option gets out of your way. And we're going to make our way over to the left side of the screen. And we're going to choose add new track. Once we choose add new track, we are going to go and make our way over to the piano and keyboard area. Once we click that, our virtual piano is up in front of us and we're pretty much ready to get to work. Now, uh, you should have the scale written down or the notes written down somewhere now to where you can actually look at them and kind of use it as a cheat sheet to guide you through and help you uh, find those notes so you can actually play them on the scale. OK, so I play them on the piano, play the scale on the piano. So what you want to do is start on E flat. This is F, that's G, A flat, B, C, D, and E flat up top, okay? Let's do it one more time, E flat. F, 
G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. Okay. Let's take a pause for a minute. You can hit pause on the video. I need you to at least play that about three times just to get yourself familiar with that pattern and being able to play those three flats on this scale correctly and getting the order correctly. Once you think you got the hang of it, you can always try going descending. That means the opposite of ascending. Now we're going downwards. So that means you're gonna start at the top of the scale and figure your way and figure your way to go downwards. So E flat. D, C, B flat, A flat, G, F, and E flat. So I'll get, let you pause it, try it a couple times, get yourself acquainted with it going up and down. Okay. And then once you're ready, then go ahead, hit play, and then we'll move on to the next part. next part the next part that we're going to be doing guys as you can see i have instrument highlighted here okay we are in the instrument mode of uh soundtrack on the piano we're going to go ahead and slide over and click piano roll once you click piano roll the keyboard shifts over to the left side of the screen and you're left with a grid you're able to actually write in notes and play them back for yourself OK, this is a pretty powerful tool inside of Soundtrap because it allows you to basically put in notes and you, you don't have to be the greatest player, but you can put those notes in. And when you hit play, they play back for you. You know, whatever you put in, it plays it right back for you. So first thing we want to do is go up top real quick. Just make sure that our uh, magnet is clicked and turned purple. Uh, let's just make sure that we have our cycle mode turned on this circular arrow. Let's cut that on. It's going to allow us to loop. Let's move down a little bit. Let's make sure that we have highlighted the pencil. This is going to allow us to actually draw inside of the grid and put our notes in. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Let's blow this up a little bit. Let's come on down to the magnifying area. Uh, the magnifying glass that has a plus in it. Let's click that a couple times just to widen up the area that we can see things better. And let's go to the tempo. And um, we've been having a lot of success with this. So if we take the tempo down to about 80, as you can hear, that's our tempo. Let's confirm that. Now, this helps out because that just widened up the, uh, the squares even more so that we can actually get in there and click the proper squares without us, you know, having to squint and um, having to make those real small, fine uh, adjustments. It's easier to see what's going on. OK, so we have to find our proper notes. Uh, let's go ahead and find E flat. We'll just start with the one right here because this is E flat. So let's click this. Now, what you want to do is click your first note. So you click this square right here. And it is E flat. So that's E flat, F, G. Now we have two black notes back to back. So that's A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. That is the E flat major scale. Now it's actually written out for you and you actually have it inside the grid. If you make a mistake, and let's say we made a mistake, you can always click the note that you made the mistake with and press the backspace and it will allow you to erase it. So that's an easy, easy fix. If you make a mistake, easy to erase things okay um so let's move together let's do this real quick e flat right next note is f next note is g next note is 
A flat. Let's take a pause real quick. Make sure that you have those notes clicked in to your grid properly. Okay, so let's take a small pause for you. Let you catch up. Put those notes in properly. Notice that the notes almost look like stair steps. Every note you put in, you should get further away from the keys. Okay, the notes should not be stacked upon each other. If they're stacked upon each other, they're going to clash because they'll be struck at the same time. You don't want that. Not right now. So each note gets its own column. Okay, each note gets its own column. Okay. You can always pause it. We'll move on to put the other ones in. Okay, we just was on A flat. So we're going to B flat. Okay, then C. Then D. Then E flat. Let's take a small pause, let you catch up. Make sure that your notes match mine. You can pause this at any time. So we are now going to make the scale descending and just like kind of almost like mathematics. This thing is going to kind of be like symmetrical, not kind of. It actually is. It's going to mirror itself. OK, so even if I took this purple line and put it right here. You will see that as I start going down the scale, my aim and my goal is to make this symmetrical going back down. It's going to be the same notes. So E flat. Got D. C. B flat. A flat. G, F, and E flat. And I can kind of check it. There's ways that you can check yourself to make sure that it's correct. I kind of take my mouse, I get on one, and I just slide right over and make sure that the other one is kind of in the same area. And I can click both as well. So that's a C. This should be a C. That's a B flat. This should be a B flat. A flat and if I come all the way over that should be a flat this is G I'm gonna come all the way over that should be a G F F E flat and E flat so it all checks out and we know that we got it correct and uh, just to even make another just to check again to make sure uh, let's hit play so we can listen to it and see what it sounds like. Okay. And since we have the loop on, which we have the cycle mode, so this is just going to loop itself. So if we hit play. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to do it. Oh, you know what? Silly me, check this out. And you might have done the same thing. This purple bar up here, make sure that it's rung all the way in to the boundaries of your music that you created or is or the loop isn't going to work. Okay, so we just had a learning experience right there. Okay, let's try it again. This time, it should start back over when it gets to the end. It all checks out. It sounds smooth. You can tell the scale is moving up. Once it gets to the top, the note is struck twice at the top of the scale. Then we come back down. So it all checks out. Not bad. Now, here's the other part of your lesson, okay, before we get out of here. Uh, what I need you to do is come on over here, hit the X so we can see better. As you can see, the scale is right here, and we're using the grand piano. We need to add something that's going to make this uh, be a bit more, you know, easier on the ear. 
and it's not as empty sounding. So let's fill, just fill up the sound. Let's make this a bit more interesting. So we're going to go to add new track. So you can do that as well. I'm going to find drum and beats. Once you're in drum and beats, a lot of you guys who come to class, this is look, this is looking very familiar to you at this point. Okay. This is where we go to make our beats. Um, I try to get away from vanilla, so I'm going to try and get me another drum kit. And this doesn't change uh, what the drums do, but it just tra changes how the drums sound. Um, so I'm, let me let's see if we can find something in here that's gone. Now I don't really know too much of, but I, I think I like Beanie. Let's try Beanie. And you can try any one of them. You don't got to do exactly what I do. Uh, I, I actually uh, want the creativity, okay? Um, yeah, I welcome creativity. You need to have some creativity. Okay. Let's do hi-hats. I usually do hi-hats first. Uh, let's just put some hi-hats in here. And remember, this whole grid that we have now with these squares, they're all built off the 16th notes. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. Okay, snare, we're gonna keep snare simple this time. Okay. So I've just created a drum pattern that's only worth four beats and that's fine. I could keep going and just create an entire drum pattern for my, um, for my whole thing. And I'll end up stopping at the fifth measure, but let's work, let's work smarter. Okay. Let's work smarter. There'll be a time when we can actually sit there and put all them drum patterns in. If I wanted to make changes to the drums, I could do it. Uh, in this case, let's work smarter. Okay, so let's just hear the drums for now. So here do they sound like. Let me take this back. So let's hear what the drums sound like. Now we do have a bit of a dilemma here because the drums only really cover like a fourth of what's going on with the whole tune that we have. So the way that we're going to remedy that issue, so we're going to go ahead and click this four beat drum pattern right here. And um, we can right click. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. First way is you know to right click and you get your options. I'm going to go to copy. And you always have to bring this purple cursor, this right here. You always have to bring this to where you want to drop your new set of drum patterns at. So, of course, I want it right here on the two because I'm going from uh, left to right. So then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to hit paste. This just duplicated my drum pattern. So now I have eight beats of drums. OK. So check it out. Okay, so my drums only really cover 50% of what we're doing. Okay, I still need the other 50% of the drums. Okay, so what we're going to do, we already have it copied. All we have to do is keep hitting paste. So I'm going to bring my cursor up to here. Now I'm going to show you the other way to do this. Another shortcut for your keyboard to paste things is to hold Control and V. Just like we do for the screenshots. And you slide it over again, control V. Now what you've just done is you've taken the scale, the E flat major scale, and you've added a bit of creativity to it. And you know, you've added an element 
that that fills up the void of just the emptiness of just the scale by itself okay so that's what you just accomplished and you can play it back you can play with the tempo you can either slow this down or speed it up but you just created a drum track behind your scale which makes this a lot more interesting to listen to let's listen one more time So I look forward to seeing your screenshots. Once you get to the final product, send me a screenshot of this right here, just the way it looks. OK, uh, we can just do it like that. And if you're curious about screenshots, you know, of course, you hit your, uh, your PRT SCR button. And um, let's demonstrate that, too. Might as well. And let's just let's just say for. Um, for the sake of just seeing let's just say this is 10th period I'm gonna hold control press v your screenshot shows right up and then you can send it you can just hit send okay i don't want to alert anybody this late at night but that's how you do it okay so that's it um hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next week okay Enjoy, enjoy. This is the E flat scale with the drum accompaniment.